Welcome. Today we are going to do a video lesson since I will be out of class today. If you're having problems with the audio, make sure you bump the volume up as high as possible. And if I'm moving too fast or you need to stop and think about it, remember you can always pause and rewind the video. So go ahead and take your notes out and let's get started. Okay, so remember our essential question is students will factor, use factoring techniques to solve quadratic equations. Our objective is still the same. Students will apply, so, so, excuse me, students will apply and solve real world problems involving quadratics. So keep that in mind as we move through our word problems. We're gonna take a look at the zoo problem today. Okay, a rectangular enclosure at a zoo is 35 feet long by 18 feet wide. The zoo wants to double the area of the enclosure by adding the same distance x to the length and the width. Write and solve an equation to find the value of x. What are the new dimensions of the enclosure? So, as we start our word problems, the first thing we need to figure out is, what are they asking us to find? In this particular problem, we are looking for three things. They first want us to write an equation. They want us to solve and find the value of x. And they want us to find the new dimensions of the enclosure. So go ahead and write those down. Okay, moving on. Remember, you can always pause the video if there wasn't enough time to get that information in. The number two thing we're going to find is what relevant information is given. What do we need to pull out of this? Okay, so the first thing I see is, well, made a drawing. We have the existing enclosure, which is 18 by 35, and we want to add this existing area to the length and the width to the second bit of relevant information to double the area. Okay, the next part we need to figure out is what information do we still need? We have the existing enclosure, which is 18 by 35, and we need to double the area. So what we need to do is find the existing area. So to double the area, we need to find the area of the old enclosure and then multiply it by 2. So to find the area of the old enclosure, remember, area is length times width. So our area of our old is equal to 35 times 18, or length times width. And if we multiply that out, we get 630 feet. Okay, to find the area of the new, we must then multiply this 638 feet by 2. So the area of the new, let me get that out of the way, is 630 times 2, or 1,260 feet. This is the area of the new, which is double the area of the old. Okay, so we've written down the relevant information, which we have even made a diagram, got a picture. We've found new information, or the information still needed. Now we need to do the fun part. We need to write the equation and solve. So let's take a look at this. What's going on here? Okay, to find x, we need to use the area formula, which is the new area we just found, and the length and width in terms of x. So one more time, if we want to find x, we need to use the area formula, 
with the new area, which is double of the old. That's what we just found. And then we need to write the length and width in terms of X. So if I go back to my diagram, my old length is 35. My new length in terms of X would be 35 plus this piece here, X, 35 plus X. Same thing with the width, 18, the old width, plus X, 18 plus X. Okay, that will give us an equation of 1,260 feet, which is, there it is, which is our new area and our length times of width in terms of X. Okay, now we're going to solve using factoring techniques. So let's take a look at this. Again, if I'm moving too fast, remember you can pause and rewind and get caught back up. Okay, so if we take our formula, the first thing we have to do is multiply the two binomials. Doing multiplying two binomials, we get x squared plus 53x plus 630. The next step is to set it equal to zero. We're going to use the zero product property, so our equation must be set equal to zero. So if I subtract 1,260 feet from both sides, I end up with the following expression. And simplifying that, I get zero is equal to x squared plus 53x minus 630. So again, what we're doing is we're setting up using to factor using the zero product property. So now we have this expression equal to zero. So if we solve by factoring, which means first times last, negative 630 factors of negative 630 to add up to 53. I found 63 and negative 10. You might have to do a lot of checking here. It may take a little bit of time. Put them back into the equation in factored form. We get 0 is equal to x plus 63 times x minus 10. Solving, we get x is negative 63, x is positive 10. And remember, we don't use the negative value in terms of distance. So our value for x will be 10. Okay, moving on. Remember again, you can pause if you need longer to take, like, take a look at that and write it down. Okay, the last thing we do need to do is answer the question. Okay, if we think about it, there were, let's get that to pop up here. All right, not gonna pop up, that's okay. If we think about it, there were three things we needed to answer. Let's go back to the beginning. We need to write the equation, and we did that. We need to solve for x. We did that. We've got x is equal to, if I jump back down, sorry for all the moving, x is equal to 10. Ah, and there it is. Okay, it popped up. Good deal. We need to write the equation, which we did. We need to solve to find the value of x, which we did. We found x is equal to 10. We did that by factoring. Then we need to find the dimensions of the new enclosure. Okay, so if we take x is 10, we plug it back into the dimensions. We have a length of 10 plus 35, or 45 feet. We have the width of 10 plus 18, which equals 28 feet. So we can say the new dimensions of the enclosure that will double the existing area are 45 feet by 28 feet. Okay, so go ahead and make sure this is copied down. Remember, again, you might have to pause it and look it over, make sure you understand it, and hopefully this will help with your homework problems. Uh, if you have any questions, jot them down on the side of your notes or your homework and have them ready to be answered tomorrow when I get back. Good luck.